Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Mountain by Joseph Aboud. So, Mountain that come in a greenish yellowish kind of bottle. Looks like every other bottle that are right now in the market of Joseph Abbott's fragrance. And it's the final one of the four that is currently in the market. The little logo on top of the cap, what it looks like. Showing you the presentation for fun and for you to look at it. I think it's still an important part of the review, but I doubt that there's actually people that copy those fragrance. Before I go with the smell, out of the four fragrance, this is the one I would call the most base mode of them all. And it's one that you could overspray, make it really intense really easily. So if it's something that you like, here it is. If you don't want something that's too intense, it's not like that crazy and intense either. It's just more intense than the other. So for the smell, what I'm picking up, I'm picking up some grapefruit and lemon. Picking up some cedar. Picking up some jasmine. It's in paper, the jasmine is pretty strong. But it doesn't smell like natural jasmine, it smells more like some aroma chemical that have jasmine, maybe idiome. Maybe there is like a lot of idiome in this fragrance. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's just an accord. I'm not sure. We have some sandalwood, some labdanum, just a little bit, especially a labdanum, just a little bit. I would say that there's some depth of the fragrance that I would say would come from uh, patchouli. And picking up some musk also. And that's pretty much it. On my skin, what I'm picking up. And the top note, there's a lot of pepper, a lot of cedar, and a lot of labdanum. Those are pretty much the notes that are the most intense as no. There's still some kind of aroma chemical that's hard to distinguish what it is. That really makes the whole heart of the fragrance itself. There's also a lot of patchouli and sandalwood. And there's a little bit of grapefruit and a little bit of lemon, which are not like super strong on my skin and though on, on paper you bring a lot of freshness and I would say they would be easier to recognize on paper than on my skin. The heart notes there's a lot of jasmine and a lot of cedar. There's also a notable amount of sandalwood and a little bit of patchouli, a little bit of labdanum. The base is mostly patchouli, labdanum and sandalwood in pretty much equal proportion. Production of the fragrance is average. Little bubble around me were able to pick it up, but they were able to pick it up pretty easily. Once I tried it, um, a little bit more spray than uh, like in the air. I tried it like on paper and I tried it on me afterward and the smell would really stay for a long period of time where I sprayed it. The fragrance that like the sillage of the fragrance is really intense. Like if you stay in the same place for a while and you move, people will come back there and be able to smell it. The projection itself is not intense, but the sillage is. And if you're not familiar with the term sillage, basically it's the scent trail that's behind you. Longevity was pretty good. I would say a little bit over 12 hours that it would last on my skin. Of course, it was not that intense for that old 12 hours, but at least as a skin sense for the last couple hours. For the complete no breakdown, Top notes are peppercorn, grapefruit, and lemon. Heart notes are cedar, white jasmine, and rose petals. And the base are patchouli, labdanum, sandalwood, and musk. And where would say this fragrance? For me, it's more sweet, more like loud as a fragrance. I don't think it would be a good business fragrance. As a dating fragrance, I think it would work. It would be where it will be at its best place. It would be more of a clubbing fragrance, actually, in my opinion. But it's still within the seductive type of fragrance. In the summer winter spectrum, I think it will be better toward winter than toward summer. It wouldn't be like a miracle fragrance for winter, but I think you could make it work, especially if you put a bit more spray than usual. If you're someone that tends to overspray, then it would work well in winter. In summer, it's a kind of fragrance that could really finish to be smelling over 
overpowering and really synthetic and really start to asphyxiate you if, if you overspray. If you put just one or two or three or even like five spray, wouldn't be too intense, it would work, but definitely it's more for the colder month, transitional season, or even winter. And as of an everyday scent, I think that the fragrance itself is really more of a dating fragrance. You would be able to make it work as an everyday scent because it lasts the whole day. But the type of scent, I wouldn't really put it there. So if you're someone that like loud, clubbing fragrance as everyday scent, this one will probably be more appropriate than most other clubbing fragrance as an everyday scent. And I'm saying most because you could find other that are better for that. And that's about it. Certainly, I think it's a really nice fragrance. It smells a bit synthetic, but good nonetheless. We're on the sweet side, like pretty much all fragrance from that line. So if you don't like sweet fragrance, you most likely not, won't like it. And then that's about it. So, hope you liked the video. If it's the case, well, like and share if you try this fragrance. Tell me what you think about it. Also, if you're a big fan of Joseph Aboud, tell me which is your favorite fragrance from them. So, thanks for watching and see you soon. Thank you.